as huge flames billowed from the dragon's fiery nostrils, the brave knight, sword in hand, stood his ground. If dragons are so big and mean, how can you kill them? Ah, that's a very good question, Alex. Maybe we should ask the knight in your story. We can't do that. I just picked in this book. Really? Well, maybe this will change your mind. Now then, young squire, let us bring forth the enemy. Thank you, Sir Gawain. Today's enemy is an overgrown lizard from Bayonne, New Jersey. He enjoys table tennis and torching small villages. Let's welcome the dragon. Someone hasn't gargled since the Dark Ages. <laughs> have just read The Cat in the Hat. She was still asleep when he got home last night. You gotta do something, Migo. I know. You can turn her into a pumpkin. It's almost Halloween. <laughs> Look, what is the big deal? Why cannot we just tell your father that I'm from another world? What is the worst that could happen? First, you'd have to tell the cops. <laughs> <laughs> then some geeks in white coats would put you in an isolation chamber. <laughs> Hook you up to electric probes, dissect you. <laughs> Next thing you know, your lips are floating in a jar in the Smithsonian. I think we should take another look at the whole pumpkin concept. <laughs> morning, everybody. Good morning, Dr. Hi, Dad. Thought I'd get up early and bring back a surprise. Donuts. Here, amigo. For me? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll cherish them always. <laughs> She hasn't said anything yet. Didn't you get my note last night? The one that said, wake me when you get home, Migo's an invader from another planet? Yeah, why didn't you wake me? Based on the note, I thought you needed the rest. <laughs> Dad, I'm serious. Last night he made a dragon appear in the living room. I mean, how else do you explain that? Maybe she's on drugs, Dad. Let's have her committed. <laughs> I know it's scary for you when we get a new nanny. 
So you manifested your fears about Migo by having a bad dream. Listen to him, Maggie. He's a very wise man. It's like a doctor or something. <laughs> Look, maybe he can fool all of you, but I know he's an alien and I'm going to prove it. Now that's really uncalled for. I think he's doing a terrific job. There is nothing unusual about Migo. <laughs> Do uh, these make you look cheap? <laughs> No, no, B-R-E-A-D. <laughs> Not two Ds. Now, give me that. skin, and I do not want stretch marks on my face. Fine, but I'm taking a hair sample. <laughs> I'm sending this to NASA. Well, I hope they return it when they're done. It cost me a fortune to join the Intergalactic Hair Club for Men. What is that? <laughs> you take a block of wood and make a car out of it. Then you roll down a ramp and see who wins. Well, it sounds more interesting than bass fishing with Bernie. <laughs> Can you help me build my car? According to this, you're supposed to build it with your father. Yeah, well, that is totally lame when it comes to building things. Maybe we can hide the flyer and he'll never find out about it. Alex, did you hear about the Pinewood Derby? Whoa! I'm pumped! <laughs> Uh, you know, Dad, if you're too busy, I bet Alex would be cool with Migo helping him. Yeah, totally cool. <laughs> too busy to help my son? No way. Besides, I'm great at working with my hands. Hey, remember I fixed this cabinet? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Need your lunch, Dr. Edward, just as you requested. Tuna on rye. Thanks, Migo. Just throw it in the briefcase. <laughs> Keep an eye on Maggie, too. She's been acting a little strange. Oh, okay. <laughs> her next door neighbor tell her i'm not here she's got this dating service she's always trying to fix me up usually with some woman with two heads hey don't knock it till you've tried it <laughs> oh hello i'm connie from next door is dr parker here no he ran away as soon as he saw that it was you <laughs> I am the new nanny. I am Migo from Marmazan 4.0. That's in Canada. Oh, so you're new in town. Like you wouldn't believe. Are you seeing anyone right now? You mean besides you. <laughs> A sense of humor. Women love that. I run a dating service, and I can find the perfect mate for anyone. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to meet someone who enjoys the sea. Yes, I would enjoy that. Why don't you come right in? Well, thank you. Yes. Right now, my best friends are a six-year-old and a rather immature dog. Oh. 
Also, I was growing close to a duck, but I accidentally ripped him in half. <laughs> well, <laughs> why don't we find out a little bit more about yourself and get you on a date quick, okay? okay. First question. What do you look for in a woman? Eyes. Oh. And lots of them. <laughs> Unless, of course, she has one really big one. <laughs> There's that sense of humor again. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you could go absolutely any place, where would it be? Venus. Really? Why? I left my shoes there. <laughs> How long has it been since your last serious relationship? About 1,200 years. Whoa! Long dry spell, huh? <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you go out on a practice date with me? That way you can get used to being with a woman again. There'll be absolutely no pressure. I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock Friday. See you. I see you, too. <laughs> Let's take her for a whirl. This baby's gonna fly. This is gonna be awesome. Get ready to feel the wind. Go! <laughs> Be right back. Don't worry, Alex. We'll get it working. I'm still pumped. I'm never one with this scarf. Can you make me a really fast one with rockets on it? I could. But how would you feel if you won the trophy with a car you did not make with your father? Great. No, 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 no. That is cheating. Cheating is no good. That is not fair to the other fathers and sons who are working so hard and competing honestly. You guys are so dead. Woody's Mark Williams and his dad are cheating like crazy. They are? Mr. Williams hired a professional to make their car for the Derby. They can't do that. Sure they can. People cheat all the time. Now I'm never going to win. Alex, never give up. Never, ever give up. Besides, I think if you give your father more time, he's going to make this into a lean, mean... I'm toast. First the duck and now this. Thank you for coming. Um, I know you're busy. going out on a date with Connie, and, and I just need some advice. I'm really quite sure what's going on. Oh, okay, I'll cut to the chase. Um, my, uh, my question is, here on Earth, when you get together with a female, exactly what is supposed to happen? Right in the middle of the yard? Oh, no, 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 that is it. No, I'm having no part of that. I'm calling Connie and canceling our date. No. You cannot go out with her yourself. <laughs> Ready to go, Alex? Jump in, Grasnock. Look at this room. No wonder the Earth is becoming the junkyard of the galaxy. Do you think you could clean up this place before it becomes the planet Pigsty 4.0? Don't take too long. Not if we do it together. Why don't you pick up those clothes and I'll take care of the rest of this mess. Okay, books. Alphabetical order. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No stragglers. <laughs>
Oh, that did not take so long. That was awesome! <laughs> it sure was. You are an alien. I knew it. Please don't tell me one, Maggie, please. Alex, Alex, go downstairs, okay? I need to be alone with Maggie for just a moment. I want them to put your lips in a jar. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Maggie, uh, I should have told you the truth about myself. I, I feel really bad about that. If I tell my dad, are you going to call the mothership and blow up the White House? <laughs> no. But I would probably have to leave, and that would make me really sad, because... Alex has become a good friend. And if I stay, maybe you and I could become good friends, too. Well, having an alien in the house is a pretty big secret to keep. My friend Becky got in trouble for having a hamster in her room. Well, but they're so much more smelly. Kids, Miko! It's Pinewood Derby time! I'll have to think about this. Okay, Woodchucks, two-minute warning for the final heat of the Pinewood Derby. It's down to these four boys and girls. Alex Parker, Tommy Smith, Colleen Martin, and Mark Williams. Yeah, Mark Williams! <laughs> Hey, Parker. Nice car. Care to make a friendly wager, say, two, three hundred bucks? I'm really not interested in betting. <laughs> Smart man, Parker. Because you're going down. <laughs> Mika, it's not fair. Mark and his dad cheated, and now they're going to win. Well, winning is nice. But you know what is much more important? What? Being honest and feeling good about the kind of person you are. Besides, you and your father worked very hard on that car, and now it really is very good. Okay, Woodchucks, let's get ready to race. Even the dust, bro. Yeah, good luck. May your wood travel swift and straight. <laughs> Okay, the cars will be released when the official starter blows his whistle. <laughs> On your mark, get set! did good. Second place isn't bad. I'm gonna go get our car. Alex, I am so proud of you. But I didn't win. Okay, but you did your best, and you played by the rules. Now let's listen to the cheaters, I mean the... the Williams acceptance speech. Okay, the Woodchuck Golden Stump of Honor trophy goes to Mark Williams and his dad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, on behalf of Mark and myself, I just okay, want to say... Okay, everybody chill. And excuse me. <laughs> okay. Slight attitude adjustment. And we return to our movie in progress. We can't accept this trophy because we cheated. <laughs> We're talking illegal parts, professional help, the works. <laughs> and not only that, but I cheat on my income tax as well. <laughs> and I steal toilet paper from the office. <laughs> well, folks, 
under the circumstances, the Williams car is disqualified. You, sir, may leave now. <laughs> Our new winners are Alex Parker and his dad. <laughs> All right, we won. Thanks for helping me build my car, Dad. I'm taking the whole pit crew out to celebrate. Who wants some non-dairy, fat-free, low-cal frozen yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> to heck with it. Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> oh, really? Amigo, wait. You made that guy tell the truth about how he cheated, didn't you? Well, I may have given him a little push in the right direction. Yeah, well, Alex wouldn't have won without you. He really helped him out a lot. I mean, he's been a lot happier since you got here. Me too. I guess what I'm trying to say is, your secret's safe with me. Oh, Maggie. Thank you. Really, thank you. Friends? Yeah, friends. Now, about my science project. Maggie. If you could just add some lasers. Maggie, are you familiar with the expression, when grass knock flies? 